How does the old saying go? Better late than never. Let's get into this. All right, welcome to another episode of Paul's Collectibles. Thanks for joining me today, it's good to have you. Now, recently I was exceedingly disappointed when I missed out on the Bad Batch 4-pack, which was released uh, earlier this year uh, and was an Amazon exclusive as I understand it. It might have even been la earlier last year, but anyway, I missed the Amazon window. They sold out in a heartbeat. Next thing you know, they're being scalped all over eBay and I was just like, whatever, guess I'm not gonna get it. But today, I'm probably gonna sound a little bit like a big fan, but yakface.com is a wonderful website and if you don't go to their website follow them and support them i believe you're missing out because i pay close attention to them and they will make announcements on when new products are coming up and they put up that the bad batch four pack was once again available on something called the amazon treasure truck which i'd never heard of and i thought well they're probably sold out again but sure enough i clicked they were available and i was able to order one and as of today they're still in stock at amazon so will wonders never cease because i thought i'd completely missed out on this one now, this is a great, interesting four pack. It's not like these ones we've been getting with the Stormtroopers or the Fleet Troopers that just come in the small box. It actually comes in a great decorative box and they're all carded. And as always, this has been out for quite a while, but since I didn't get it until now, we're still gonna take a look at it, but it'll just be a quick overview. But with that, let's get this beautiful four pack in front of some lights, take a look at it and see what I'll be adding to my three and three quarter inch Star Wars action figure collection today. Okay, so I was fortunate when Amazon sent me the package. They sent it in this white box, which was inside another box. And this looks like the actual Hasbro mailer. So let's get into this thing. Okay, when you get them out of that packer box, this is what you see on the front here. All four carded figures lined up inside of this window here. It's got Clone Captain Rex, Clone Captain Ballast, which was changed to something else in the series, and I've now since forgotten the name. Clone Captain Gray and the Elite Squad Trooper. Bad Batch logo up here, looking good. Kenner logo down here. On top, it's got all the figures from this wave. Apparently, these are considered to be part of this wave, or that's a secondary wave, one of the two. On the side, just says figuras on the back this is the imp impressive part it has a picture of a landing platform with the bad batches ship a description of what is going on and or the bad bats themselves and that's just a beautiful picture man that's that's really good looking i like that down here you got the vintage collection logo but man check that out that's really cool troopers everywhere and their ship then on this side we got figures in a bunch of different languages again and we got legalese let's get these out of here and take a look at them all right, let's start off with Clone Captain Rex. First of all, that is an awesome card. I actually really like that. I love the way that he kind of looks like he's ready for battle. He's got his pistol in his hand there. Blue name pill, blue name back, Bad Batch, Star Wars. That's actually really good looking. I like the blue accents in the background. And the cool thing about all of these, unpunched. And I don't have a lot of unpunched things. That's really cool. And if you get a good look at this guy, he comes with his helmet. Great detail, the macro binoculars are on there. The antenna is on there. Wonderfully, just a beautiful head sculpt. I mean, I mean, that's just really good at this scale. It's got his scarf, cloth goods, cover up there. I guess that would be like a poncho. It's got the tick marks down his arm there. You can see both his pistols, the blue accents on there. Just a really good looking figure. That's, that's actually really cool. I like that. They did a good job on that. And Captain Rex is 208. Next up, we have Clone Captain Ballast, and this is the guy that we saw that kind of rebelled against the Empire, and they changed his name either for this card, so there wouldn't be any spoilers, or in the actual series itself. I'm not sure which, but either way, he's got the green name pill, the green name back there. Just another good picture. It looks like, obviously, some sort of artist rendering, of course. Uh, none of these characters were actually real as of yet, but a wonderful card. I love the green, kind of offsets the teal that he has there. Normally, those wouldn't go together but that yellow background also looks real good. Then you get a close up on him. Once again, that same head sculpt, this time different color hair. Got the phase two helmet with the teal accents. He's got that good looking pauldron on there. Down here, he's got his standard blaster. All the teal accents. 
and they seem to be weathered and damaged nicely. They did a good job on that. That one's really cool too. And Clone Captain Ballast is VC210. Next up we have Clone Captain Gray. He's got that nice goldish tan background on his name pill and behind the figure. And I believe this is the guy that was with the Jedi's at the very beginning of the series uh, who ended up executing Order 66 on, I believe, I forgot her name, but anyway, this is where Kanan Jarrus survives Order 66 and runs off, but that's the clone captain that was with them. And that green accent, once again, with the yellow background, I love the offsetting colors and the pictures that they use for the clones on these cards. They're just really cool. I am impressed. I, I like these a lot. I'm not going to lie. Then once again, that same head sculpt, he's got slightly darker hair, looks like. I love the the difference in the decor on his helmet he's got the deeper green but they slash across his cheeks like that the green stripes on his arms the white stripes on his forearms green belt great detail he's got black knee pads which i think is pretty cool and the standard blaster once again i realize that these are for the most part repaints and rehashes but you could give me all the clones and troopers you wanted and i would just be excited and buy them all and clone captain gray who ironically dresses in green is vc209 Lastly, we have the Elite Squad Trooper. This guy is really cool too. I thought I was just gonna get overly excited when I saw these in the Bad Batch. I didn't enjoy the Bad Batch series all that much. There were some high points and some low points, but the decor on these new Imperial Elite Squad Troopers was very cool, all black with the green visor. And as a matter of fact, I was actually able to pick this up in the Black Series long before I got this in. So. He's got like a burgundy background, which I think is really cool. That's one of my favorite color backgrounds in that burgundy in the background as well here. It's uh, almost like sinister looking. I really like that. And once again, they just picked a phenomenal image for that card. Look at that guy kneeling down, got his rifle ready to go, headed into battle, making sure things are getting taken care of. Up here on the figure, you can see that smooth black decor. He's got the black helmet, the black uniform all the black accoutrement on there and this guy actually comes with a rifle and a pistol which is just really cool look at that that is neat looking to be a nerd about it <laughs> and the elite squad trooper is vc211 but there you have it just a quick look at the bad batch four pack of clones and troopers that came out quite a while ago and i admit uh, it took me a long time to get them because i thought i'd missed out but you know me i wanted to take a look at them and share that experience with you as well but with that if you're a member of the channel i'd greatly appreciate you if you've subscribed thank you very much and anybody else who has joined me today to check out this four pack i greatly appreciate having you but with that i will see you on the next video